so now you've seen that uh, this good order that we have here it's not it's not the normal case it's this is not my normal flight time place it's just a place where we shoot our films and uh, um, I have pretty good order in my life and about everything I do but my flight time room is that it's impossible you can't clean it every time it looks like it's a bomb exploded there uh, okay so we are doing the eighth film in our series uh, pattern of the month and I want to welcome you to this and I uh, hope you will enjoy this uh, today we're gonna tie a version uh, my version on a fly that's actually not mine I'm holding my hand here an original banana fly from uh, Mikael Andersson or Mikael Andersson who uh, uh, first tied this banana fly pattern uh, Mickey is a good tire here's one that he said he caught a few fish on it's tied on a biggest TTT uh, it's from last year I think uh, uh, my version on the banana fly is a bit more discreet, a bit less yellow, goes more into the brownish uh, coloration, and um, it's just what I prefer. Um, and I will tie it today, and I'm gonna tie it uh, in a version that's not tied on the TTT, oops, it's tied on the BTT, our new ones. And I know I showed you a little bit last last film, but now they've been out in the shops and on our web uh, a couple of weeks. And uh, actually internet exploded on versions on how to use the BTTs, the brass turbo tubes. And there's quite a big uh, difference. If we, uh, if we look at them, we have the three, TTTs and uh, they are weighing 0 0.5 smallest one 0 0.9 for the medium one and 1.3 grams this is a heavy one and for a big fly that you want to have fish fairly high up or in the surface film it's too heavy so we needed to do not too heavy for everything. I, I catch a lot of fish of those, but we needed to do something else. And we did the BTTs, the brass turbo tubes. They are super light and they are actually coming in the same sizes for six and eight millimeters. And uh, I've taken away the little edge in the front just to make them even lighter. And um, they're actually so light they're hard to weigh and <laughs> the biggest BTT weighs less than 0 0.1 grams or around 0 0.1 grams if you compare that then to the smallest TTT that's half a gram 0 0.5 you understand how extremely light these are and how light flies you can tie on them and um, uh, this uh, half of the season I've been fishing them with great success and to have a fly with a big profile that will open up to be fished right in the surface film can be extremely effective. So uh, I'm going to tie my banana version. I'm going to do it on the medium uh, BTT and I start uh, with uh, my uh, uh extra small fits tubing i do a little edge put it through pull it up and uh, i melt a little bit here just to get a little edge that i will uh, pull down on the btt and of course banana you need a yellow lighter very important so when it's dry, I pull it down, cut a little edge, make it simple. Just put it on the needle and the same with all our tubing and uh, uh, different constellations that they all fit on our needle, of course. 
Okay, so uh, I'm going to use today a 12 volt an olive thread. Uh, 12 volt uh, our thinnest thread, and I start by putting some uh, turns on there. And since I don't have this little lip here, there is a risk that the thread will, on the on the very polished metal will slide down so what I can do is I can take just a little bit of glue and I just put a little glue on the thread to make sure that this will stay when I start tying. Normally when I tie on the TTTs where I want a bulky fly uh, or a fly that's uh, normally uh, fished on high water maybe or faster water I start by tying in a hackle, but on these ones and on the uh, banana fly that I think is best on a sunny day, a um, little tint on the water, it's, it's an excellent pattern, uh, I want it very translucent and I don't want it, I want it quite sparse, not too heavy dressed, so I can skip the hackle. If I want a little more, I can put the hackle on, but I can skip the hackle and go straight on, putting on the wing directly onto the BTT. So what I do, uh, first I use a little bit of uh, Angel Hair. I use the Angel Hair HD, which is a little heavier than the regular one. I take the nasty rusty color going to use a lot of nasty rusty in this pattern and I take a few strands uh, it was a bad one and I just put them on make sure to put them on wide a few turns one or two turns and I double them back and this is just to get a little bit of sparkle under the wing a few turns don't cut here, then I get them evil, I taper by pulling and cutting. So I get different length of these flashable materials so they don't come together in the water. Okay, so then we start with, uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, start with uh, banana yellow uh, first wing. I'm going to use two colors here, but I'm going to divide it to get the best tapering. I'm going to divide it into three bunches. I start with one which is soft and uh, brush it through like you've seen me done before. This will open up the material in a very, very nice way and it will be easier to get applied with a perfect taper. As you can see, I don't use the bright yellow color. Uh, I don't know if you can call this actually banana yellow. It's more, it's, it goes more onto a, a bronze color almost, a very light bronze beige color. Uh, I don't want this fly to be bright yellow. Okay, one centimeter, put it in, tie it in. Use half the diameter of the BTT, few turns, make sure it's down on the sides and cut it off. And it's always better to try to cut between everything. Been complaining before when I've been tying doing these films that it's hard for me to see because the light is on your side. But here we go. I've got a very broad, uh, translucent first wing. And uh, then I add a little bit of angel hair. Again, Master Rusty, one of my favorite colors. Few strands. Put them in, one or two turns, and fold them back. Make sure to move the thread back so I tie in close to the BTT where it forces the material to open up and taper. Then I take 
the second bunch of hair and this I like this where I have a bit of black or brown darker brown strands in there to mix and get this maybe a little duller in color uh, a little darker and um, I do that all the time I try to have the lightest hair in the bottom and I make it uh, uh, to be uh, darker the higher up I come this wing should be a little smaller again one centimeter hold it in look so I get a nice taper and tie it in and it's extremely easy to tie on the TTTs and the BTTs if you want to you see it comes up a little bit like this because I have soft hair but I can take this and you can feel it and can see what shape it's gonna have and it looks really nice and then I again cut this off and here I cut up to the edge close to uh, where I have the plastic and this gives it a very smooth um, a smooth point where I tie it in so it's not going to be an edge it will be smooth and easy to finish the fly okay more talk than time but I do again a few strands of angel hair one or two turns and fold them back make sure when I fold them that they are spread and back up the thread come on now thread to close to the T the BTT and then I taper and what I do on a lot of flies is that I prefer to have see what I have here a little bit of dark overwing and I'm gonna do the same on this one I'm gonna juice a few strands of uh, Patagorva brown hair soft curly makes a translucent fly always brush it through using my brush and I can also say to those of you waiting for our tools that we now have a date they are said it's been so long time but they're said to to reach us on the 10th of November so they are very very close okay so I take this make sure this is super soft and I put it in on top look at so I get this to be the longest strands be the longest strands of the wing so I get this nice taper and brushing it it's easy to have it spread all over so I don't have a little dark here and a little dark there it should be even just like that I uh, put on one or two strands more okay and cut between everything I tie in Feel the wing and I can see I have a very thin wing with a few strands here that will swim nicely. Okay, so you've been seeing me using uh, peacock before and normally I put a few of the dark peacocks on top to get a little roof on the fly. Here I'm going to use a bleached fe feather. Um, and I'm going to use it to get a little more uh, a little back but it's not going to be that dark uh, I'll spread it like this between my fingers three to five strands and I look how the length will fit the longest uh, strands on, of the hair and I take it like this, I press it down, hold it in and try to tie it in 
without folding. Look from above, make sure they are spread. And this looks very good actually. Okay, and I back up and cut off. Okay, and you know I I um, I love the jungle cock feathers. I use uh, substitutes, but also I use still use some of the original feathers. <clears throat> Make sure I have a sightis, and uh, those of you traveling should also know that it's not only illegal to have a cape without uh, a sightis. It's also illegal to have flies without a sightis. So uh, traveling over borders with with uh, jungle cock feathers, you need to carry the sightis also for the flies. Okay, and I can also say that we are in process of doing a substitute that I think will be even better than the original. The substitutes on the market today are too stiff and, and uh, too ugly. And uh, what we're doing now will be something better, I hope. Okay, so I formed this by pulling it over my thumbnail like this to have this feather curve the way I want it to follow the wing this way and this way so I get a very nice curve on it and then I tie it in. Make sure the jungle cock is fairly long because I'm gonna have a couple of hackles in front of it and uh, looks good my side always start here and I don't want to cover up the jungle cock. I don't want it to be seen on the fly. Take the other one, curve it again over my thumbnail or fingernail. See if it's good like that. Look from above. Normally I twist the fly a little bit here. I can't do that here now because then I will take the fly out of focus for you and work the thread close to the BTT. See that it looks okay. And it does. And uh, here I've done all of the wing. I can uh, feel it, look at it, make sure it looks the way I want it. Quite a little material makes it very translucent. Put a little glue on and I put the glue here to just secure the feathers and the hair. Then it's time for hackles and I'm going to do uh, on this only two hackles. So I can put on, let's see what we have. I can put on one of these uh, big hen feathers that will uh, create a quite bulky hackle but I can also on a fly that I want to fish on a sunny day like this I can make sure that I have fewer strands and even softer strands and strands that will slim down when wet to get a very translucent profile on the fly so on a on a on a fly I'm gonna fish on a sunny day here I'm gonna use soft tackles and I can do the yellow one or I can do the olive one. This fly is tinting over to olive, but I'm going to do the light one uh, to make it a fly that will be even more suitable for the sunny day. Pick the feather here where I have this super soft fibers that will make this fly swim really good strip it off and i always tie in all hackles in the tip to get the softest and best fibers in the front to use uh, their ability to create uh, motion and to make the fly swim in a good way when i cut i use support put the scissors on my 
finger and then I can move the material so I cut exactly where I want it create a little triangle and it's this triangle that I'm tying in use a few extra strand uh, extra turns and I do this most of the time with uh, without a plier but uh, since we have uh, our new plier here that is so super nice to use and uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of good things with this I double the hackles back so I get all the fibers to go one side and I just hold them back and I tie it in uh, the good thing with our plier is not only that it will hold your hackle in a good way but it's heavy enough so I can let go if I need to and I still get the tension in the material it won't come up so I can I can just let go I can grab it again and I can tie it in and it's one of the advantages with this new fits tool plier tool and cut it off cut close and you can see what I've done is a hackle that will swim good I love my flies swimming good I hate stiff flies that don't look alive I want them to look very much alive okay so now I'm gonna do something special here I'm gonna take a teal feather um, I've been tying a lot of classic flies and I love the classic natural materials teal is one of the most beautiful feathers I think and I use them natural and I use them dyed but also when you when you work on doing just a few flies maybe you maybe you don't know how to dye or you can't buy the material dyed but there's one thing you can do you can um, you can buy a set of pens and then you can just take the natural feather and you can you can stripe it with a pen I'll take it and I put it down on just a piece of paper I have two different green ones one brownish olive and one greenish olive and what I can do is I uh, see if I get right side here make sure it's a permanent marker because otherwise it's not going to be very good and I just uh, dye it with my pen like this just pull the pen over the feather and um, it's dyed it's uh, gonna dry a little bit before I tie it in so I'm not gonna use this feather here now I'm gonna use one I I just dyed before where they are here and I can uh, take the the one here that I dyed the, the brownish olive, olive color make sure I have the right length and what I do is I first strip off the soft part and then to make a teal feather not double and fold the other way which is really really hard when you tie it in uh, the easiest way is just to strip off one side and if you strip one side you don't need to double it all the fibers will will come in in the nice shape you want them to I do it like this create a little triangle just like before use support cut it off have it like this and just tie this in And now it's super easy I don't even need my plier here it's super super easy just to take this and I just wind it on make sure to put these uh, turns close to each other all the fibers will come the right way look how much I want do I want one more turn? Yeah, let's do one more turn. And then I just tie it in. 
if I have fibers there, uh, I can just let them follow the fly. And when I, if I cut this, oh, sorry for that. If I cut this now, close, I can pull away a few of them going the wrong way. Like I have one or two here. And this will, if I have one or two here, these ones were the one I was folding and I can pull them away afterwards. But this way the, the fibers will follow the fly and makes it make it look good actually. Okay, so then I end up uh, by uh, with a micro turbo micro hot turbo disc just to cover the thread and to make the fly look good and be very strong. You've seen me uh, talking about the organizer boxes before. They are super, super good. I think uh, I can have good order on the stuff. And uh, I used the micro one, just put it on. And what I do, I take a little bit of glue and I use support. Oops, I have to be careful with this. And I put the glue a little bit away from the hackles. And uh, either I can just use the thread, pick up some glue and pull it back, or I can take the cone and press it down. And when I press it down, if I twist it, I will spread the glue. But easiest is to take this, pick up some glue, one or two turns, take the cone, pull it down, and twist it. Make sure to come down really close uh, and cover up all that material and all this thread and soft uh, fi uh, hackle fibers I have there. See how this looks. It looks good my side, hopefully your side too. And now this is ready. So I take it out of the vise. I pull this back, make sure this is tight, hold it, and I cut it again, use support. I use a no scissors, the tungsten uh, fit scissors. We call this ergo because it's twisted. It's very easy to have it in your hand. You'll see them soon. And again, the banana lighter. And I melt this down a little bit at a time. So it melts down the fits Tubing melts down, creates a good color that will hold the hackle, but also with a good hole in it, so it will be able to put it on the fly, put it on the leader. Okay, looking at this, maybe there are uh, strands of angel hair that needs to be taken away. I take away the longest ones, yes, because they have a tendency to, to, to tangle with uh, the in the hook okay ready so this is fished loose on the leader now I'm gonna tie a body <coughs> that I think will uh, uh, be good together with this I can do it just uh, fish it just with the bare plastic use the medium fits uh, the gold color here to keep the translucent fly. If I want to have it a little bit bar more bulky, I'll tie a body that uh, where the hook will be attached and this will slide down. But I'm gonna tie this body, I'll show you that. Okay, so, and I'm gonna use another of our new tools, the little uh, tube cutting device where you just put in the, the tubing and you see how long you want it and you just press it and uh where where is my tubing disappeared you see there's chaos here already from one fly i can do this and i just put it in slide it in and cut it and i get perfect edges on this and you know very handy i think easy you can do all your two bodies the same length. Now I can do this in two different ways. I can I can just put on the tubing, not cut the edge I just did there, and just 
tie the body on top of the medium. But I can do another thing that I, I actually started to do more and more. And that is that I will attach an extra small together with the medium uh, the same way I do if I tie a fly that should have a comb. I take the thread and make sure I put quite a lot of tr thread that I will pull hard over the part that I cut to get the medium to hold the extra small still flexible no glue no glue and um, it won't break very very strong okay and I'm walk back here with my thread where I'm gonna uh, attach the first material the gold part will be part of the ply of course that's why I started with the colored tubing now I'm gonna put some mirage on I love the mirage because it picks up the color from um, every material around it and I don't go with the thread under mirage I back down the mirage tinsel so I save about four to six mil before I turn and go front again and tie it in uh, this way even wet uh, the thread will not be seen through the mirage only the gold color and uh, on this kind of sunshine flies I uh, prefer not to use a tail uh, we're working with our tail fiber material should have been here a year ago uh, soon hopefully it will be here uh, what I do instead I take uh, our uh, hollow braid and I will use two different braids one for ribbing and one for the body and I always do like this I tie in what I'm going to use for ribbing first and I take my body material second Move the thread and uh, tie this in. Make sure I cover up all the thread so I don't have a bare thread that the fish teeth can destroy and kill the fly. I can make this a little longer than what I want because I'm gonna put some dubbing on and it's better to back down the dubbing over the braid and uh, on the dubbing again I'm gonna use the nasty rusty color uh, I use glitz which is our our longest fiber dubbing easy to brush out uh, actually made of three different kinds of flashy materials put on a little bit at the time Dub it on, spin it on, very easy. And then I can back down the thread to see where I... Uh, so I get the dubbing part to be as long as I want it. Put on a little more. And uh, I like our dubbings and our, our SSS materials because they consist of... Uh, all of the blends consist of five different colors meaning that it uh, the spectra is a little wider and uh, it looks a little bit more alive than if you use only one or two colors. Okay, so I put this on to where I attached the extra small tubing. Uh, then it's time for hackle. I will do... Uh, an olive one and uh, uh, I have a feather that is a little bit uh, speckled just pull it in tie it in close to the edge where I have my medium tubing use a few turns it's not really important how many cut it off take again my uh, super plier tie it in uh, always start by doing one turn here before I can and you can see this is a swirling handle so I can just 
pipe this in just holding it and uh, huckling the whole body in an easy way. Then I take this and the good thing now if I want to I can let this go it's heavy enough and I can spin it with both my hands and just rib it crosswise the other way around with the golden uh, hollow pull it down hard the more I spin it the narrower it gets so I can use the same uh, braid material for all sizes of flies just spin it harder if I want it small and I cut it close take away the tip I will one here that I will take away too few turns use the meanest brush on the market and I or soon on the market and I just brush out these fibers to have the flashy part uh, the flashy fibers to blend with my hackle like this okay again do the same thing as I did with the see where I have them I can pick any color here uh, because this a uh, little cone won't be seen when I fish it but the good part with having a cone here is that it makes the fly really really strong a little bit of glue here pull down the cone spread the glue tight down take away the thread take it out cut it off Maybe two mil or so take the banana lighter again and just melt down a little edge here good hole wait a little bit before I touch it and I can put it back here just to show you how this will work so this body now uh, is going to be fished behind what I just tied on the BTT and this way see if I can find the hole here it's not meant to be put on this way but this is how the fly will look like and I can adjust the length of the body to get the hook where I want it I want the hook to be in the center of my salmon flies and a uh, uh, little further back on my sea trout flies and this is how the fly will look when you fish it but the good thing is that I can actually change this I can put on a bulkier I can put on any combination here and to be honest with you this uh, nasty banana I just tied it's one of my favorite patterns when you have a little bit of tint in, in the water but this year on the Alta this summer on the Alta I was there looking in my box thinking what should I do do. should I take the, the here we have one should I take the pot of garba or should I do the banana one and I decided aha let's see I do the banana and I picked a pot of garba body so this way I could put this in see if I can get this on and I can get a flight that was a little bit darker uh, and here I can use the different combinations just changing between bodies and also I can change between having flies tied on the BTT that will be like this very 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 light weighing less than a fly that's tied on the plastic tube or I can use this is a TTT I think no that was a BTT too Oh, I use Mickey Anderson's original here tied on the very heavy large uh, TTT I can I can here work the way I do I I have a, a, a wallet with all sorts of bodies it's uh, it's uh, it's bare ones it's uh, it's bodies with only dubbing and there are full bodies with hackles and tails and everything and I carry two different uh, wallets with one with BTTs and one with 
TTTs, one with light price, one with heavy ones. And here I have a chance to be really, really effective when I'm uh, uh, choosing the fly on the river. I can let the speed of the water, the depth, the temperature, everything decide where I want to fish my fly and exactly what color combination I would prefer. And uh, these are the banana bodies and the banana and the patagorba. These are, are for me uh, a really, really um, good option to, to mix those to get the fly that I, I exactly want for that condition. Okay, so uh, BTT, banana, nasty banana, I call it. It's a bit darker than the original fly from uh, Mickey Anderson. Here we see, get on there now. They're not meant to put on the, the opposite way here. Uh, where is Mickey's fly? This hasn't caught a fish yet, this how. It's caught a few fish, he says. But you can see there is a difference in the color. Uh, uh, this is a, a much discreet. Uh, this is a little more. Uh, this is a this is fly that will show off more in the clear, clear water than this. This will be a little discreeter, and I would I would prefer it this way actually, most of the time. Okay, so uh, uh, I will thank you for watching this. Uh, next uh, month we're gonna do a totally different fly uh, that will be used on totally different conditions and uh, I will end this eighth uh, pattern of the mo month film clip or film with uh, a little clip from Alta this summer where actually the combo of the Paragorba body and the nasty banana head this time on a TTT uh, a fantastic day gave me four fish over 10 kilos actually in one day fantastic and I hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching this